हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू येट अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ पॉस टॉक एंड टुडे वी हैव वाइवेशियस अवंती पारुल पारुलेकर विथ अस आई एम अ लिटिल टंग ट्विस्टर हियर सो दैट्स ओके शी विल टेल हर वंस मोर एंड शी इज अ सीईओ ऑफ मैजिक ऑफ चेंज सो वेलकम अवंती टू द शो थैंक यू थैंक यू डॉक्टर मोनिका फॉर हैविंग मी हियर आई एम वेरी ऑनर्ड and now i will request avanti to introduce herself because it is a long list and we have all the twists and turns which we will unfold during the talk sure so uh hi my name is avanti parulekar and my name actually means going ahead in italian which is fitting for the journey that i'm going to uh, talk about i was born and raised in the lively city of mumbai and i'm currently the ceo of magic of change I am a certified NLP master practitioner, ICF ACC coach. I have made it to the HR forty under forty, and I'm also an enthusiastic organic farmer who is growing the juiciest organic mangoes in and around Mumbai. Oh my God, my uh, I'm my mouth is already watering. Yeah. <laughs> so so like we were just discussing, right? Unfortunately, yeah. due to global warming, the the growth of the mangoes has been uh, postponed. they are mm. still not ready if they are organically and naturally being grown so that is the case yes. with us but uh, yes in a few weeks i'm expecting the mangoes uh, to be ready and we already have a lot of word of mouth in mumbai uh, you know people who've been buying from us so right. yes looking forward to that so um, overall it's been like you know from the high stakes world of corporate boardrooms to the lush green fields and uh, mango fields and now i'm working with uh, rafi sir mr mohammad rafi whose vision is to actually be a global leader in personal growth and total human transformation so that yes. really resonates with my values and my vision hmm. so if you see my my journey has been a mix of hustle and harmony both absolutely absolutely that's very well said actually avanti so now that we know about the hustle and harmony we will start how it all started so avanti will uh, take us back and then she will bring us forth and she will tell us about the whole journey uh, which is actually going to have lot of uh, twists and turns as i told uh, but we will talk about that little later yes please so uh, just to give a start like really back is uh, you know growing up in the early 90s i had a very unconventional childhood so hmm. i was sailing the high seas on merchant ships with my parents because my father is from the merchant navy Hmm. so uh, i would only return to india for exams and then get back to the waves so for me the sea water waves you will see in a lot of metaphors that i use when i am very passionately talking so yeah. <laughs> but this experience also taught me to adapt and embrace new horizons hmm. which now very naturally comes to me hmm. and i along the way uh, just in addition to all the other uh, opportunities that came by me i I have been blessed with a supportive family and amazing friends who have right. actually been my anchors. Hmm. So when it come came to my education uh, through and through in Mumbai, uh, mm -hmm. finished my MBA in HR. Then I began my career in HR as a learning and development executive at Star TV. Mm -hmm. So my first boss, uh, Bhavna Samil, was a game changer. I mean. i love her she 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 has been a mentor who shaped the way i viewed my career right and for landing at star tv i interned with accenture and meru cabs this is around mm. 2010 around mm. that time so it gave me some exposure to corporate life but the real work started only when i was with star tv which is now disney star so yeah. i spent around 5 years over there learning soaking up every opportunity that came my way evolving from a fresher to a professional yes. and a big thanks to also konkna das rishi gend and amita maheshwari whose guidance has been very very uh, it it's been invaluable basically Absolutely. i, I can't Absolutely. put a word to it so these yeah. early experiences taught me that agility and a commitment to lifelong learning is basic mm. correct and that combined with my drive just helped me take the risks which mm. i have been taking all the while and now i don't see it as a risk i see it as a chance that i took and today i don't have any regrets mm. so i'm very happy about it yeah so it was yeah. the start i would say you know my childhood yes. and then my early years in early, uh, yes. corporate life yeah yes yes and then uh, from there she has now landed up into being a farmer 
that that she is now uh, growing lo lovely mangoes and also changing lives with magic creating magic around magic of change with uh, mr muhammad rafi so yeah. now this seems so nice and simple no uh, if you if you are hearing the, uh, what avanti is saying where is the pause like you hardly hear her talking about pause because she is not uh, having any uh, scared she is not scared she is uh, okay with taking risks so where is that pause that we are here for yeah so that is what i want to ask her now avanti where was your first pause so uh i don't believe in pauses okay life i think is like a fluid water body hmm. sometimes it can be a river sometimes it can be an ocean it can be calm and flowing or powerful and forceful so it's hmm. all about embracing the current and changing course whenever needed so like in nlp we say reframing right so i would Actually, reframe the pause right right <laughs> and also the course because of her, all her water experience she is used to all yeah, the yeah, yeah. Again. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> So yes. whenever an opportunity feels right, I go for it without hesitation. If I do hesitate, I do my research. Mm -hmm. I I have like I I say I have my personal board of directors. These mm -hmm. are my mentors, my well wishers, my family, my friends who are knowledgeable, supportive, who have the understanding as well that what is best for me. So I mm -hmm. reach out to them, discuss it, and then mm -hmm. I just go for it. So I mm -hmm. and these are a handful of people. I mean, these are not many. I yeah mean, we, yeah less than 10 people you know yes. and uh, yes. that that just pushes me to go for uh, a decision for a new arena with full force correct and uh, farming wasn't really a break for me it was a new adventure that allowed me to channel my passion into something meaningful with a scientific approach because right. my education was hr you know in my graduation i did marketing then mba in hr so the obvious a uh, career path was she'll be an hr professional probably become a head hr absolutely into, you know those type of roles but uh, yes i did change my course got into farming then once the plantation was established i went back to the corporate world mm -hmm. as an hr then i dived into coaching so mm -hmm. first i took up the icf that's the international coaching federation then i met rafi sir then i got into nlp eventually i became the ceo of magic of change leading to uh, also leading an event that was yes. the manifest event we had in goa right the three day right. transitional event yeah. so it's it's been like you know ups downs just riding the waves so honestly i don't over plan i don't mm. overthink too much um my lighthouse a metaphor again is shifting mm. and i'm completely at ease with it Okay. So if you ask me, I'm very aligned today with Rafi sir. What is his vision? Like I said, mm. uh, mentioned mm. earlier, I I am very much so I see what he's seeing, and that's Correct. why today I am working with so much energy, vision. Uh, I'm very goal oriented, you know. Mm. So I wasn't rigid in my approach that nay, abhi HR hai, abhi HR hi karna hai, abhi coaching hai, Correct. coaching. Today Correct. it's a business role that I'm working on. I am learning. There are so many new people I get to meet in a different capacity, and I'm loving it. Okay. Absolutely, oh. absolutely. So I will also ask again about the farming part, uh, yeah. which you started. And as we were doing the intro, the intro, uh, you have mentioned about the being the first woman who was staying and how you got the support from the government bodies. You know, please tell us something about uh, all of that. So, uh, in our country, just just some basic. Uh, generally, if you see the landowners are men. Because that's yeah. how our society has been. The land is passed from father to son to son to son. Very rare cases you will see the lands being in the name of a woman. Yes, yes. So the farmland that we have is actually my mother's. So wow. my grandfather was the visionary who not only my mom, but even my masis have lands. Hmm. So, you know, that's how he distributed. He didn't really have the whole, uh, you know, bias. So yeah, yeah. To him. Yeah. And because we stay in Mumbai, we are in such a fast-paced life, people don't really have the time to go and do farming. That's also correct. correct. So it started as a passion with my father. So my father, mm -hmm. after his retirement from Merchant Navy, was fed up of the city life. He said, I need some place calmer, you know, tranquil. And right. uh, that's how we started as a passion. Passion means plant anything that you find, go, go more, but don't have a vision, don't have a goal, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so yeah. The time when I decided to take things in hand, 
and mm. actually get the plantation done is mm. when I worked with the Maharashtra government authorities. Yes. And they were extremely supportive because mm. I was a young girl doing this alone. Nobody in my friends and family have ever been into farming. Yeah. So everything was initially Greek and Latin for me. Correct. And getting the subsidy, understanding what is the soil analysis, water analysis, everything was very new. So they Absolutely. were very, very helpful. So the soil analysis uh, actually comes like a blood report of the soil. Yeah. <laughs> Sulfur, so much phosphorus, this is there, that is there. But now what to do with it? You go yes. to a doctor, right? Yeah. So here Correct. I would go to them only. And yeah. I said, now what to do with this? Yes. So that's when they gave me certain options, explained to me the subsidies. There are special subsidies for women farmers in our country. Mm. Okay. They are not getting availed because mm. there are less number of women farmers. There's hardly any. Hardly yeah. any. Yes. Because women are looked as laborers generally. Correct. You, see. Correct. you will find women working on farm, but mm. the owner will be a man. Absolutely. I'm they... here, but there is so, data. And no, but you are, what you were saying is right, Avanti, because it is not even in farmers, but everywhere it is labor. Woman is a labor. It, in house, she's a labor. In a corporate office, she's a labor. In a farm, she's a labor. She is never a leader. So okay. that is what we have to change the prospect now. Absolutely. We have to make a woman a leader, a decision maker. Yeah. Yes. So uh, that's that's how it all went on. And uh, after that, so many of my friends, via via connections, reached out to me asking that, how did you do all this? So hmm. then I had the connections to tell them, okay, go to this office, meet this man yes. or meet this lady. She will help you. He will help you ask these questions because yes. every farmland is different and the approach is different. Everybody's budget for investing is also different. Correct. Correct. So Correct. today I can say that, you know, after the plantation, things have been sort of on the autopilot. But hmm. like we were discussing earlier, global warming is something absolutely yes. not in hand. So it's not just raining at odd times. Yes. The winter is not harsh enough or the, or the summer starts early or goes that, until late. Something yes. has been yes. off. So the because it is nature. Yeah, it is nature. No, nature. When everything which is yes. about nature. No, yes. so nature is unpredictable. We cannot absolutely. predict the nature. Neither a human nature now, nor the nature <laughs> nature. We cannot predict nature actually. <laughs> So human nature, when, I would say, if you learn the NLP uh, techniques, you can do a little bit of prediction. It has helped little, me for sure. Yeah, yeah. Little little prediction because there are patterns. When yeah, we get to patterns. do the patterns, we can uh, predict the nature also. Yeah. But yeah, still. And then they say that woman is absolutely unpredictable. So yeah. <laughs> yes. So uh, what I was talking about is about the pause that from an HR professional, you shifted to being a farmer. That kind of a shift in your mindset was the actual pause that we were talking about. No, it is not a pause. Pause doesn't mean that you, you stop. No, it is not about being able to just do nothing. That is not the pause we talk in pause talk actually. We talk here about a different kind of a mindset which happens in somebody's life. And because of that, the, tra uh, the trajectory of the person changes. So you were being a professional uh, where everything was very uh, kind of a in rhythm and everything was very predictable because you had to go at in certain times, you came back at certain times and you knew your work, what it involved. But here you were who you had no idea of what you are getting into. But you had that grit and determination and the courage to take up this and then you went all ahead and went into uh, this new uh, area of your uh, like interest. Yes. And then you started uh, this farming project. So that is what I was asking you when you were in that kind of a mindset change. What it, uh, what all did you learn about yourself and uh, probably about uh, people? So um, it was not an overnight decision. The yeah. change had started eventually, uh, I think at least four years before I actually took the action. And by then I had started reading, talking to people, saving up money, understanding mm. how much bandwidth will I have? Do I want to do it in parallel with a corporate job or do I need to leave everything and only fo focus and, you know, work on this? Because it's difficult to get out of that corporate job uh, cycle, you know, where you actually, have a actually, guarantee yeah. of getting X amount every month. That is odd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So everything is in, in control, uh, sort yes. of. Yeah. So I, I took time. I uh, I started with small steps. 
and uh, leading to a time where I was very sure that, okay, now I'm equipped with the understanding, the basic knowledge at least. Mm. I am also wanting to take the plunge full on. I mean, mm. go all out, you know, so yes. I, I cannot have a, a Monday to Friday job and then Saturday, Sunday farming. This is this, this yeah. won't help me. It will not let me get the results that I want to get right, uh, right. right away. And uh, what I learned about myself, I would say is uh, I, I am generally very straightforward, very strong headed, very dominating also by nature. So when I really set my goal, Mm. Everything around me, I will rally it towards the goal. Correct. So, Correct. you know, and like I already mentioned, I have um, a very supportive family, uh, friends who are very supportive. So that also sort of helps because apart from your professional life, your personal life has to be at some harmony. Absolutely. But what I'm asking here, uh, Avanti, is that what shifted in you? No, no, you were a person. All of these qualities which you mentioned about yourself, they were also good for HR. But what shifted that made you uh, very, very relevant for farmer, being a farmer? No? Hmm. Something shifted in you that you wanted to not be in that closed atmosphere and now to be in an open atmosphere. Not to be with humans, but with plants. No, there is a sh absolute shift there. So what that what is that that I don't know probably you would have never realized but now that I'm asking the question probably you will ponder and understand but yeah, yeah. that's what I wanted to know actually that what yeah. is that shift so that one shift mainly is wanting to have something of my own hmm. to put it in very simple words that okay. uh, when we are working with somebody or with a company you are actually working hard to drive their vision yes and their assets or you know their organization or whatever they're yeah. working on in whichever capacity here i was close to my age of uh, turning 30 and mm. that's when i thought that what what is it that i have done what is mm. it that is mine mm. where i have full control or i have my vision or you know it's like my baby mm. with respect to work so what is it and that pushed me to take this decision because being close to nature, uh, being at ease uh, in a very calm, serene uh, environment is something which has naturally been, again, I gave you the uh, background of my childhood, right? So that, yes. that was just natural. And yeah. uh, why not? So that, that shift, I think one of the trigger I would say was that to have something of my own. Okay. So, but again, I will interrupt you there and I will ask you again. I'm I'm digging in deep. Go ahead, please. <laughs> this can be an entrepreneur. You wanted to become an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. But that entrepreneur could have been something in HR itself. Like you would have uh, had your own company uh, and you would have been, that would have been your own baby. That would have, you would have been the master of your own company. But why farming? Why? And it, this is besides because you had a land. I'm sure even if uh, that land land would not have been there if this was your interest you would have acquired the land and also yeah. you would have done it because that was that at that moment that seemed right for you so that is where I'm asking you what is that shift in you that you wanted to become a farmer I would say uh, it was also to do with getting a getting an outlet to the whole hustle bustle of the city that I'm currently in so there yeah. are multiple things. There is no one thing, right? So mm -hmm. all the reasons I've been giving have culminated into me taking the step of getting into farming. Also, Correct. given the fact that when I actually got into it, I was also not sure about how sustainable it's going to be. Absolutely. And even today, I'm not because nature, mother nature, you don't yes, really yes. know. Yes, so yes. Uh, there is there is no one reason or like one particular uh, shift. No, it is not one particular. It yeah, has been a culmination of uh, multiple things, and uh, again, uh, the the other things that I mentioned, right? That how the society has been, and the fact that in farming you don't see women farmers. There are a couple of them, not many. So that was again a push for me to try mm -hmm. and do something for women who really want to make it in yes. farming or to support Absolutely. them in whichever capacity possible. Absolutely. So it's not like I'm going in the uh, villages today and talking to the farmers or whatever, but wherever and in whichever uh, communication links that I get, where I get a sense that, okay, this woman needs a push, I mm. know whatever is possible in my uh, way to help her. 
Wow. So this is what I wanted to hear from her actually. And uh, this is how we have come. So we were actually okay. playing an LLP game here. Probably if she sees this is a clean, clean language. language. <laughs> yes. That we I were using it. actually. No, no, no. So actually uh, there, is, there is also something called as thought neural networks. Yes. Which is a master's level concept, right? Which is the same thing that you keep on probing. Yes. And then you connect the thoughts. Yeah. Correct. So, correct. So uh, though I have not done master's, but yeah. That is instinctively <laughs> coming from me. <laughs> so this is what I wanted actually to understand from her life that the pause which she had taken uh, from a kind of a HR professional to becoming a farmer was that inner instinct to for being a like a woman, you no, know, a woman who wants to nurture. There she was doing, 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 doing. But today she is more of a nurturer, which is a more uh, kind of a woman uh, uh, aspect. Like you are a woman and you are a nurturer. So today she has become a nurturer and uh, that has made her a kind of a woman who actually is now nurturing people also. She is nurturing the woman around her more and she's able to give the direction. So that is what I will ask her. The next question is that how post the pause her life is going now? So, uh, with all these shifts that we've been talking about, right, I've learned that no two days are the same. And mm -hmm. I like it because I, I am not really a fan of monotony. And that's mm -hmm. what really keeps me energized. So, post mm -hmm. the, the shifts, I would say I am balancing farming, coaching, training, business meetings, and family time. Yeah. You know, that, that's how my general week looks like. And the harmony mm. between work and personal life is actually my secret to happiness. Yes. It gives me the freedom, flexibility, excitement to tackle new challenges. At the same time, I always keep my family at forefront. And when I say family, I mean our farm family also. Yes. Friends yes. and colleagues who are like kin. So all yeah. of them included. So they always have top priority. And uh, this balance actually helps me face each day with curiosity, gratitude and knowing that I'm on a different kind of journey and happy to not have uh, any regrets so far and I plan to keep it that way. Absolutely, absolutely. And post the pause, how are, what is your life with being a CEO at Magic of Change? Uh, what are, what, what do you are, what are your uh, kind of a role that you are doing as a CEO there? Please tell us more about that. So uh, I'm, absolutely grateful to Rafi sir because uh, the the conversation I mean just a quick backstory again the conversation yeah, yeah. Uh, with magic of change initially started with practitioners then doing my masters then being a trainer with the company hmm. which was a logical step I said yes yes why not sure hmm. then came manifest so I because of my HR background and working with star I had a sense on events so I started giving him inputs and then one day he said, you're going to be heading this event. Hmm. I want you hmm. to do this. And my reaction was that you're joking, right? Because I'm not really an events person. And, uh, you know, I don't, I have not done any heading of events in the past. Correct. He said, no, no, you are the person I have decided and you're going to do it. And he had so much conviction, infectious, hmm. contagious uh, conviction. Yeah. I just did it with yes. all my heart, whatever I could, right? When yeah. I was and it was a blockbuster. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> thank you yes it was. and we had such a great time and the yes. the beauty is that the whole team is from non-events background yeah <laughs> all of us were on this ride together doing everything absolutely. possible in goa so, absolutely uh, that that was a different experience altogether and when i was working on it this is pre-manifest he was in mumbai for uh, one of the workshops and uh, we, we were just sitting and he said that uh, it, it, it was a core team sitting and he just said that uh, Avanti is going to uh, be the CEO of Magic of Change. Avanti, you are going to do this. And again, my reaction was like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> because that was never in my roadmap. That was not my motives, not my yeah. goal. Nothing, Absolutely. never in my conversation, I had said anything to him or he had said anything to me. Mm -hmm. So for me, my I'm just being honest here. My reaction was palpitation. Yes, so like, yes. Are you serious? And the yeah. whole team knew about it. His mentors knew about it. His family knew about it. So okay. the fine was from everybody. And and it was like a surprise to me. And uh, okay. yeah, so I took time to absorb it first. 
<laughs> it's a huge responsibility he's been in this actually for actually 20 plus yes. years he's trained lakhs of people i mean i just started uh, you know training with him last year yes and, yes uh, yeah and then he gave me some 20 25 reasons on why i should do this and why he chose me so okay. oh, that's the yeah. behavioral scientist angle right yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah calibration right and uh, ever since then again it's been great i mean there has been so much learning so many new opportunities the kind of meetings that i'm doing the program curation part so there is something that we launched called wow women programs yes. so these are exclusively for women by women so this is again one of its kind we are trying to create a safe space for women to be vulnerable to share yeah. their story um you know have again workshops retreats only for women the Correct. facilitators also would be uh, women so you know that that kind of things and we are getting great response around it and apart from that yes manifest is an annual uh, journey so it is going Absolutely. to happen next april as well we yes. are working on uh, you know the flow and we'll soon be announcing the location so and yeah. we, we are getting such great response for manifest yeah we are having multiple workshops Hmm. children's workshop storytelling workshop 38 skills of uh, world class presenters hmm. the practitioners masters train the trainer so many corporate engagements that we are doing so last year rafi sir actually trained the indian army and yeah. the indian navy he's the only trainer in wow. our country to have trained both of them so the kind of milestones that we are achieving as a team are phenomenal Amazing. And, uh, Amazing. As a CEO, I mean, it it just gives me that push to try my hundred percent, give my hundred percent, yes. and uh, take it to the next level, and Correct. also keep learning at the same time, right? Because I'm being a CEO for the first time, <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> being being a CEO at a farm is a different thing. <laughs> being Actually, one is a different yeah. ball game. So, uh, yeah, it, it has its uh, set of opportunities, challenges, uh, learnings. And it's it's again a never-ending journey of uh, new experiences. And that's what Super. is my driver. So Super. new experiences Super. is open to so it. What I get what uh, from what Avanti has just uh, said is that uh, being a CEO uh, of a company and being a CEO of your own life and being a CEO of the <laughs> farm that she owns is all a different uh, set of game but then one person doing all the responsibilities is that what is avanti all about and she mentioned something about her name if you remember avanti what is the name for so in italian it means go ahead so in italy actually they have a red signal and then when it turns green it says avanti like they you know go. go forward or go ahead <laughs> yes. So that is what I wanted to bring it to. She is proving her name. She is just going ahead, ahead and ahead. Yeah. So even if there is a pause uh, in mindset, in, in the way she wants to bring about her different aspects of her own nature, uh, but then the purpose is to go ahead. So she is actually living her name very, very beautifully. Thank so, you so thank you, Avanti, for being what you are. I just want to hear one last message for the audience. Yes. So um, if you've been listening to all that I have said, I would just say that uh, always keep evolving. Um, in fact, my motto and message also keeps evolving. So today, as I say this, I would say that I believe in the power of goodness. And mm. my guiding principle is quite simple. It's do good always. Yeah. If possible, do great. Yes. Uh, it's all about the law of karma. So what yes. you put in the world will find its way back to you often when you least expect it. Hmm. Um, also, also, one more angle to look at it uh, is uh, always stay true to your values. Yes. Be congruent. Never underestimate the impact of a single act of kindness. Absolutely. And uh, just, just to clarify, when I say be congruent, it means that your thoughts, your words, your action, every fiber of your being are in perfect harmony. That's when you're being Actually, congruent. Yes. So yes. It's, it's when then there is just no disconnect between all these, between your beliefs, your behavior, you will always be authentic and your integrity will always be there in anything that you do. Absolutely. So moral of the story is... Uh, just focus on doing good with congruence and you will create a 
ripple effect again going back to my sea <laughs> that can <laughs> that can uh, transform lives and yeah. your life included so, absolutely uh, absolutely wonderful is that wonderfully said i can just add here because being a mindfulness coach i always talk about being than more than doing right. so instead of doing good i said be good correct right. so when you are good when you are being good everything starts to happen around you in a very good way so Absolutely. thank you so much avanti it was really wonderful having you and we had right of laughter we had everything such a charged up show today so thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for all of that thank and you I'm for inviting out- me Yes, and I'm calling out for any other woman here who uh, really resonates with this kind of a pause in their own lives, and you want to share your journey uh, with us here. You can be a next guest here. You can just ping me. I will like connect to you, and we can be here talking about our own uh, pause journeys once more. So thank you once again, Avanti. Namaste.